Hi everyone, welcome to the sixth and final chapter in CRM. I am Lynette Sheridan. In the previous chapter, we learned about customer, customer groups and how to create them. This chapter, we will look into reports and analytics in CRM. End of this chapter, you will know how to view your current sales pipeline, analyze reasons of lost opportunities, evaluate how responsive your sales team has been, view conversion rates and finally gain insights into your sales activities. Customer relationship management is very important in every business. Once your company grows, different kinds of transactions will rise with customers and there will be an increased need in order to structure your data so that you can access it methodically and make sense of it with ease. The reports and analytics tools will help you do the same. As a sales executive, it is important to take a step back regularly and have a look at how your sales systems are functioning. You may need to assess and change, for example, modify your sales pitch or even adjust your product recommendations or even sometimes pass on feedback on pricing or packaging to relevant stakeholders. As a sales manager, you will need to monitor the sales pipeline, gain an overview of sales, share projections to shareholders, observe trends and patterns and also give individual feedback to your sales executives. Reports and analytics in ERP Next will help you delve deeper into these factors. Let's see how you can do it. To go to the report section from home, you can click on the CRM module and you will find a section called reports. You can also navigate to specific reports directly from the awesome bar. This section contains various reports with analytical data of your sales processes. Let's start by exploring what the lead details report contains. When you open the lead details report, you will be able to see a list of all your leads and their details like name, address, status, lead owner, contact details, lead source, territory and other details. You can use various filters to customize the results you want to see. These filters include a date range, the territory and the current status of the lead. For example, if it is open, closed or converted. Next, let's explore the sales funnel report. Once you select the date range, you can view the report in three different kinds of charts. Sales funnel, sales pipeline and opportunities by lead source. By using the sales funnel report, you can quantify the number of prospects at each stage and get an idea of your potential customers. This will also help you identify any problems in the sales pipeline so you can take action at an early stage. An opportunity passes through many sales stages before bringing any business to your company. In the sales pipeline report, you can see the total potential of opportunities in each stage. The third kind of chart is the opportunities by lead source chart. It shows different lead sources and the opportunities that have risen from them. This report helps you compare how each of the lead source is performing. You can decide to invest more in the lead sources which are generating quality leads and business. The next report we will look at is the lost opportunity report. You can find it using the awesome bar. This report provides detailed information about all lost opportunities including where the opportunity is from, the customer name, reasons for the lost opportunity, the sales stage, territory and others. This report includes various filters that you can use including the lost reason filter which helps highlight the exact reason why this opportunity was lost. You can also sort the results using filters like territory, opportunity from, party and next contact by. 
The next report we will explore is the inactive customer report. This shows the list of customers who haven't given you business since a specific number of days. You can specify the number of days in the days since last order filter. You can also specify whether a sales order or a sales invoice is to be considered. This report will help you to quickly identify the customers from whom you can drive more business. Responding to sales queries as soon as possible can be imperative to increase the chances of securing an order. The first response time for opportunity report shows in minutes how much time was taken by a sales executive to respond to an opportunity. You can add the date range for which you want to analyze the response times and a line graph and date-wise details will show up accordingly. The last kind of report we will look at is the lead owner efficiency report. Using this report, you can evaluate the performance of a sales executive based on how effective they have been in taking a lead through various sales stages and eventually closing the deals. The information is shown in multiple columns that start with the sales executive's details and go on to show how many leads, opportunities, quotations and orders they have completed or secured. The report also shows conversion percentages from lead to opportunities and from quotations to orders. You can also enter a date range if you wish. This brings us to the end of this chapter and the CRM course. I hope this was helpful in understanding how you can analyze your sales pipeline, patterns, losses and also your sales executive response in ERP Next. You can read more on ERP Next at docs.erpnext.com. Thank you.